Hi from Vestra, Sweden. Fight Club Brush presents three three minute rounds in the amateur welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, his record one defeat, weighing in a 76.8 kilograms, representing Sweden, Abdurrahman Amayev. And his opponent in the red corner with a record of three wins and one defeat. Weighing in at 76.8 kilograms. Also representing Sweden, Sebastian Ketty. Your referee in charge of the action, Kevin Sataki. This should be a good one. Amateur welterweight contest here between Sebastian Ketty in the red corner and Abdurrahman Amayev in the blue. And expect some flashy, crazy, explosive stuff from Amayev. Does come from a striking background. And I'm sure that's something he's willing to show here tonight. Yeah, he had a lot of crazy kicks against Hussein Khodor. It was like a throwback fight. Yeah, it really was. All was missing was the pants, you know, the long pants, the kickboxing pants. Yeah. An immediate takedown offense here for Sebastian Ketty. Which would make sense. I mean, Amayev is such a wild and unpredictable guy on the feet. Yeah. I think you want to try and take him down or at least like wrestle some of that explosivity, some of that gas uh, out of his muscles. Make his arms heavy, his legs heavy. And then maybe you can strike with him. So far, Ketty unable to secure the takedown. CM, what would you say is missing from him getting his opponent to Afghanis? So you see that strong overhook uh, on the left side there. Uh, Amaev is staying disciplined with it, but now it's turning in. I was going to say that overhook was strong, but now it is turning into more of a strong underhook uh, for Ketty. And as soon as that happened, I, fe I feel like Ketty felt it. And he felt like, hey, now, now it's the time. Now I can go. So great work there by Ketty. So far, resorting to more of a kind of a stalling position from the bottom. Again, now back to those overhooks. You can see that now, like Ketty is not, he doesn't have underhooks. It's more Amev who has strong overhooks right now, negating damage. Yeah. However, he's not escaping this position, holding uh, his opponent's arms like that. He's going to be pinned to the ground. And if he's not wary and active with his legs, Ketty is going to move to mount as well because that half guard looks shallow. Oh, yeah, it definitely does. Nicely spotted. Very see him. Uh, it looks like a, a Kitty could just slide his right leg over, potentially. And he's going to try. It's a pretty open half guard. I'm actually a yeah. little bit surprised that Kitty isn't moving into mount, but might be a strategic move. Could be because of those overhooks, like you could get bumped. Uh, and then you can't post. Mm. So you, you don't want to feel dumb and, you know, pass the full mount and just get reversed like that. So perhaps he wants to have more contact with the canvas. Um, but yeah, you know, in MMA, you can also be comfortable here in half guard. He is winning here, but with 20 seconds left, I would like to see some more urgency, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, especially considering the fact that Keddy, he is coming off two straight split decisions, uh, one against him and one for him. I'm sure that he would love to leave it out of a judge's hands this third time around in FCR. Yeah, full mount. Okay, well, a strong first round there for Sebastian Keddy. Amayev seems pretty unbothered, though. He didn't take a whole lot of damage. Let's take a look at some of those. Oh, oh. Taking a look in the corner here, the red corner of Sebastian Ketty. Looks focused. Yeah. And I think that perhaps he feels spurred on by the fact that his last fight, while he did get the win, it was a close contest. And I'm sure he wants a little bit more dominance here. There we see that yeah, that's the takedown that secured him that top position, which he held on to for the rest of the first round. 
Yeah, let's see here what Amaev can do uh, to change the uh, trajectory of this fight. See if he can keep it standing, keep his opponent at bay. Nice jab by Kitty. He has such good range. And he has long legs and long arms. Big overhand, just glass here from Ayev. Great timing. Very nice timing by Ketty, and down he goes, straight to side control. As you mentioned, CM Kitty is, actually is a runway model and modeling for several different clothing brands as well. And it wasn't something that he sought out personally. He was just approached and headed on to right on the street. I feel like that's how they catch these guys, right? They just see them on the street. Yeah. So I guess the best base for being a model is just being good looking and being in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Another takedown attempt there. Yeah. Nice defense from Amaya. Mm -hmm. But again, Kitty stays on him. Oh, wow. But look at that. Kitty rolls with a takedown, secures top position. And some Good heavy strikes. Here. Might have connected to the, on the chin. Wanting probably to turn in towards his opponent. It's going to be easier said than done. Gets driven down by Kitty. Mm -hmm. Kitty has been in a lot of grappling competitions. And he has been very active in MMA. He's working on that rear naked choke without the hooks right now. I would like to see him put in, get the hooks in full mount, however. Yeah. One minute left. Thanks, Ricky. Now off to the races here. Kitty has said, speaking of those two... Uh, split decisions. He said third time's the charm, and so far it's looking like he was correct in that assessment. Very nice work here. Nice work by Ama Amaev as well. And Amaev right in front of his corner, so I'm sure he's getting the best possible coaching, but... It's so much easier said than done at this point. Oh look, he's gonna get the Dagestani handcuff. Mm -hmm. On the Chechen. <laughs> Solid round there by Sebastian Ketty. Yeah. Again, a step behind uh, Abdurrahman Amaev. Even when he reversed, he got reversed back. Yep. Um, he just he just can't engage uh, in this uh, in the grappling department right now. In this third round, he needs to try and keep it standing. Just let let it all fly. I mean, I like the creativity there with the hip toss, but he just didn't really follow it, follow it up. Yeah, he just needs to keep it standing at every cost now in the third and final round. Third and final round, here we go. Yeah, Katie looks to be in the greatest, best shape we've ever seen. Wow, yeah, nice kick to the face, sir. Try to fake the takedown, come up with the right hand, but didn't throw it. I guess gauging the reactions there of Amayev. Nice leg kick. But Way too easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think Amayev needs to drill some more takedown defense because that was very, very easy for Kitty to get right into side control as well. Oh, he's going to get the crucifix position by the looks of things. Yeah, this is a tough spot. Very tough spot here for Amayev. Easy pass to mount. It's been getting easier and easier as the fight has been uh, going on here for Keti to just impose his will. Now two minutes. And that bridge just gives up the back. Keti has a body triangle and plenty of time to work. A lot of frustration from the Almayev corner as well. Understandable. Yeah, Kitty is just all over him at this point. And I'm just getting the impression that there seems to be a great connection between Sebastian Kedi and Niku Musoke. It just seems as if Kedi is following the instructions. And here he has the Dagestani handcuff once again, 50 seconds to go. He could land a lot of offense here. Nice left hand. Oh! oh. Ooh! But that got a little too reckless there. That's a, it's so much easier said than done, especially when you're feeling the fire of like having a point stacked against you, but you gotta keep it controlled in situations like that. Trying to bridge out of it once again is Amayev. And Kitty once again stepping over. Easily gets the Dagestani handcuff. All right, that is it. Great work by uh, Raft Sebastian Ketty. Looked uh, very, very good here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Hardly a scratch on him. Oh, it should be no mystery in working out the scoring on this one. A little bit of frustration in the Amayev corner, which I don't quite understand. It is an MMA bout. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three have the bout 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the red corner, Sebastian Ketty. All right, I'm here for winner Sebastian Ketty, a dominant performance. Heading into this bout, you had two split decisions behind you and you had said, in regards to showing dominance, third time's a charm. It certainly was. Exactly. Third, third time is a charm. And uh, I tried to get the finish, but he's just, uh, he didn't give me the neck. I put on punishment. 
and it is what it is. We got three rounds and three rounds of beating. Thank you. And he's got kind of a wild, crazy striking style. Like he showed that towards the end, he was throwing like a, running into a kick basically. What was game planning like against a very unpredictable opponent? Uh, I usually don't care about my opponents. I have the uh, same game plan. Uh, my game plan was to be a laser. Red, like you see, red corner, red jersey, laser. Laser focus, really straight, and that's it. Yeah, well that focus was paramount and apparent, especially with your new top-notch team behind you. What was it like having UFC veteran Niko Misoke in your corner? I have to say this in Swedish. We come in Kraft, the Renda. That's definitely what's up. And now that you're back in the win call, or continuing the win streak now, what's next for Sebastian Ketty? Whomever, whatever, let's see. Maybe Stockholm, huh? <laughs> I'm sure that Stockholm will gladly embrace you with open arms. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, it's here for your winner, Sebastian Ketty!